Yeah. Is there some yeah. Prince Williston? Yeah. This is Tommy Brayson. How are you? You already said that you called you back. Um, if you want to, you can schedule another call. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, it's something in the line, right? Excuse me? No. I didn't hear you. You said it's who on the line. This is Tommy Bryson from YouTube. You schedule a call with me. How can I help? Yeah, 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 yeah. Good evening, 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 I can't, I can't hear you that well. Can you hear me now? Um, yeah, yeah. No, can you hear me? Yeah, I need to talk about apps that provide cards that you can get OTP direct without looking in code. That's because I saw, I feel, I subscribe to your YouTube channel. So I have many of your videos and I'm actually working with more of your ideas. Let me just sit down here. I'm mean, just see those streets, you know what I mean? That's it. So that's what I wanted to hear from you. Too. If, if, if I can do what? If you can give me tools, I'm going to use my walk. That's what I mean. If I can give you shoes? Two, 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 yeah. Like shoes to walk on? Yes, yes, yes. Walk on OTP. Um, how would I do that? Okay. How would I do that? I mean, Okay, so what I do is, what I do is, I try to help you figure out your financial situation by giving you the information right. that you basically need to help you utilize right. your money the correct way, right? So whether you're in Nigeria right. or whether you're in another country, the laws of money are still the same. So what I can do for you is, um, do you have a job? No, I don't have nothing to do. Okay, do you have a skill? A skill. Yes, a skill basically means um, what can you do yeah. for money? What did you do last time you worked for money? Yeah, yeah, I have a, I have a, I have a business idea. That you have I'm a what? Working, I have a business idea. I'm working towards the capital. Oh, oh so, so you need capital. Yeah. But um, but I guess this, there's OTP I'm trying to run on this stuff, yeah. So for me to get it back, I think I don't have someone to get it, that I need to work for it. Okay. Uh, so then, here, here would be my advice, right, um, Chris Williston. What I would do is basically, yeah, yeah. the first step is yeah. learn a skill and get whatever job you can right now, right? So whatever job you're able yeah. to get right now, you get a job. You know, whether it's cleaning shoes or whatever is actually available. And I think you you live in yeah. Nigeria. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I have I have I have I have family lives in third world countries too, right? And the main thing is you need a skill and you need to be able to just keep yourself afloat. So that means get whatever job you can and then get a skill mm -hmm. that's in demand, right? And then use that skill to mm -hmm. work for somebody else. While you're there, if you want to start a business, you start small and you start little by little. The best way to build a business when no one's going to help you is to work for the person that has the business that you already have and just work under them yeah. so you can find out exactly what it is that they do. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be That would be my advice for you. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Yes, just start step by step, brother. It, it all it takes is you get whatever job you can get right now. Um, I know I know the jobs are different over there. You don't get paid as much money, and that's fine because the expenses are also different. Um, you get whatever job you can get right now, whatever it takes. You get a job. While you're there, you use some of that money to get yourself a different skill, whether it's a trade, whether it's college, whether it's a license, whatever it is. And then you use that skill to work for somebody else and earn a little bit more money. How old are you? You're 32? No, 22, 22. Yeah, so if you're 22 years old, 
four years from now, you can have a skill that can make you a good amount of money, right? So now you're 26 years old and you have a skill that can make you um, a good salary over there. That's the big difference. So you have to start investing in yourself. You know, whether I buy you a pair of shoes or I give you money, whatever it is, it doesn't help you because you don't have a system. So there's a saying in the Bible that says basically um, you can either teach a man to fish or feed him for a day. So overall, you have to learn to manage the money that you have right now, whether it's zero or whatever it is. You got to get a job to give you recurring income. Once you have that, you get a skill. You manage that money correctly. And then if you want to start a business, work for somebody else. Learn to keep some of your money for your own investments, stay out of debt, and don't borrow money. Does that make sense? Yeah. You're very that. young, man. Thank You're 22 you. years old. Okay? But, dude, let me just ask you this again. I have a cash app, but I cannot log in to find my account. You have, a, you have the I cash like app? Do, uh, I like doing things in crypto and, um, and then I can I get new ideas about crypto trading online. About how to make yes, money online? After. Yes, yes, yes. So, yeah, you need to get a job in the real world right now. And then once you have a job in the yeah. real world and you make money, then you can use your free time and your spare time to kind of study how to make money online. So whether it's through selling things or in a Shopify store or whatever it is, but you need a real job for right now, currently. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you a lot. All right. Peace out. Okay. All right, guys. There. Okay, guys. So I know that call was maybe a little hard to actually decipher and actually listen to. Maybe the audio wasn't that good, but overall. What this call was, was somebody calling me and asking me to buy them a pair of shoes and telling me they want to start a business, but they don't have the capital. And, you know, you might tell me, Tommy, wow, isn't that sad? The answer is yes, it is sad, you know, living in, in Nigeria. But one thing it is, you know, I grew up in Dominican Republic and I didn't have the, the best shoes ever in the world. So my cousin didn't have shoes. We didn't have that many clothes to the point where we got clothes usually once a year. And that was for Christmas. I know what it's like to be poor. And one thing I know is that giving somebody something doesn't solve anything because if you give someone a million dollars and they don't know how to use it by next year they won't have it anymore because they just don't know how to manage it that's why for example when you're broke the best thing is get a job right you get a job that fixes that problem number two is you get a skill to basically increase the amount of money that you can actually make and everyone wants for example fast money what can i do online what can i do here the answer is just start out by getting a normal job first and then you focus on what can you do online with your spare time. That's the core idea. You know what I mean? I have cousins. I have family that calls me, Tommy. Um, I need money. I need this. And, you know, I give them money sometimes. And one thing I can tell you is that it doesn't help. You know, it just doesn't help. It doesn't help. What helps someone is, and I love this verse in the Bible that says, hey, you can either give a man a fish, feed him for a day, or teach him to fish and feed him for a lifetime. And the big thing is, whether he wants to learn or not learn, it's completely up to him. But I would start off with just get a job, get a skill, college, trade, whatever it is, earn a little bit more money. If you want to start a business, no one's going to help you. That's fine. It's how the world works sometimes. Work for the person that already has a business so he can teach you everything that you basically need to know for, for, for working for him, basically. That way you make money, but you're also learning. And then potentially you can start something off. One thing I've learned a lot of, you know... I know people in my little town in Dominican Republic, which is basically a third world country, that spend their whole lifetime complaining about, I can't do anything here. I wish I was in America. I wish it was over here or whatever it is, you know. Things are hard, you know. I'm not saying that being in America, for example, is not easier because it is. But one thing I know is basically that if somebody in my town was able to become rich and wealthy, you can also do the same. My uncle did it, right? My uncle became very wealthy in a third world country. And so did my other uncle through education, right? So I know that it's possible. So I know that's, out, that's actually possible for me too. So if I'm there, I'm not complaining about my situation. I'm trying to change it. That's what you need to do. How do you change it? Follow the steps of all the people that came before you and actually did what you think is not possible. It's the most important thing, guys. I'll see you guys next time. 
Thanks for watching. I know this one's actually a little hard to actually decipher, but I still want to upload it because who knows who this can actually help. So whether you're down in another country or whatever it is, there is a possibility for you. And the, and the blueprint is in the people that became successful, the ones you're seeing. I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you're notified. If you want to call me also, feel free to do so. The link is actually down below. Schedule a free call with me today. On top of that, also follow me on Instagram at Tommy Bryson. Click right here for another video and click right here for my other channels to actually subscribe to and be a part of it also. See you guys tomorrow. Long-term team for the win. Peace.